In this video, I'll show you how to use Osmond's Configure Screen menu. Configure Screen lets you display small blocks of information, or what Osmond calls widgets. Some widgets are displayed all the time, others show only when you're navigating. To begin, select Configure Screen. And then the navigation profile you want to configure the screen for. Each profile can have its own settings. As I record this, the Android and iOS menus work somewhat differently. The Android menu is more complex, but it gives you more control over which widgets go where. Let's start with the right panel, that is, the right side of the screen. If you're doing this for the first time, you'll find that some widgets have been enabled by default. I'm going to delete a few of these, and then add Average Speed, then move that widget to the top. The library of widgets on the left panel are similar to those on the right, while the top and bottom panels are more limited. The iOS menu is simpler, but less configurable. Here again, you select which navigation profile you want to configure the screen for. Below that are a list of available widgets for the right panel and the left, plus a few more options. As you configure the Osmond screen on either version, here are a few pointers. Transparent widgets determine whether the widgets are transparent or opaque. Next turn, of course, shows the distance to the next turn. There's a regular version and a small one. Second next turn is the turn after that. Street name shows the name of the street you're on or the name of the street you're about to turn on. It will also show the names of hiking paths. Distance to the destination will, of course, show you how far you have to go. If you have an intermediate destination, it can show that too. For outdoor navigation, I find the compass button useful. This is all a work in progress. For their 2023 design goals, the developers have said they plan to add Android's panel controls to iOS, as well as larger widgets and more widgets.